team, I have a little surprise for you. Oh, yeah. You gotta believe in yourself, but you cannot do it alone. You have to be, you have to be together. You have to listen to each other, yeah. celebrate each other. If some if you see somebody is going down, hey, help him up. You know, that's that's how a real teammate should be. So I want to give you this word so that you can, you know, keep winning, keep winning. That's that's for me the most motivated uh, motivation that you have to keep keep focused and let you win. And listen, obviously, to that. <laughs> nah. Any questions? If you have any questions about, yeah. you know, how I think or how I prepare for a game or whatever you want to ask me, ask me. Any questions? Uh, yes. Okay. Tell me. You want to know before a game, what are the preparations in the regards before a game? Yeah. Okay, so I like to listen to music, you know, I have my headphone and I will, I will go in the gym, but I'm not doing no gym work. I just do a little bit of stretching. Stretching, and I listen to music, and I prepare my mind, because football is all in the, in the brain. Obviously, it's with the feet, but if this is not good, the feet's not gonna move, so. When you prepare, and you, um, you imagine already what you're gonna do before you go in the pitch, you know? Obviously, I'm prayed up, you know? Before I enter the stadium, I pray in my room, in the hotel. But, <clears throat> physically, my headphones and, and I stretch a little bit and I'm just very calm, very calm. And then when I'm on the field, <laughs> you're right. You know, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I also like to know uh, the number of times you do uh, gym work in a week. Um, I would say like three times, but I don't really do push-ups because I'm, I'm sure if I do push-ups, I get too big and I cannot run no more. So I do way more core stability work. Um, Balance, balancing with the ball, you know, like on one leg, passing the ball, because that's the most important thing, your balance in the game. So that's, that's why we are, everybody here is strong from the south, we are Ghanaian, so we are strong, so we don't need to push up and too much. Um, so I do more core stability, planking and stuff like that. Any other questions? <clears throat> Who takes the penalties? Yeah. Yeah. He's our top scorer. Uh, how many Oh, his one is like that. Ah, so okay, okay. Why does he do that? You want to know why he yes, does that? Yes. So talk to him about your foundation. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, as you guys know, I have a foundation for deaf and blind children in Cape Coast. So I I try to come there every time I come to Ghana to, <laughs> to, uh, to help them education. But also for me, this means blind and deaf to the world because when you do this, you can hear nothing, see nothing, and you focus. That's for me the best reason or the best preparation for a game. But in, in life, I live life like that because everybody have opinions about you guys. In the media, they speak. Ah, if you play one bad game, ah, this player is shit. No. You know, it's a, it's a marathon. One season is like 30 games maybe. Yeah? So when you do this, you don't, you don't listen. You know, you focus on yourself. You know, you focus on God. And, and that's it. You blind and deaf to the world. So I came to the world that, you know, that's, that's what it means. But yeah, top scorer, I like that. I like that. Keep practicing on penalties because I missed a penalty a couple of weeks ago. And I scored a lot, but, you know, um, you have to keep practicing. When you train, when you train, 
shoot free kicks every day, maybe 10 balls, 10, 20, then you go inside after, after the training. That way you become better. And with, this is our top coach who oh. won us the league. Hey, give it up. <laughs> tells you every game in the dressing room. He tells you so many things, but there is one thing he will keep telling you yeah. for the 30 games or the 34 games. What is that thing? And why does he always tell you that? So, for example, um, you know, our uh, coach in the national team, Louis van Gaal, one thing he say every day, all day, <laughs> and he believes very strongly in that is imagine, imagination. So. When you have a game in, in the night, we will repeat after lunch, before we go to the room, we will repeat. Go to your room and imagine your imagination um, that you play the game already. What you're doing on the pitch. He believes that is, that is very, very helpful and he, he believes in that. But other coaches, I mean, it depends. Like, you have to know your job. Everybody has to know their job in the pitch. Tactic is the most important thing, you know. That you win the league with or not, if, you, if your technique is not good, the team will not win. So we did a good job. But um, for example, Xavi, when I play on the left wing, our Barcelona coach, he, he want he want me to run in behind a lot because even though if I don't get the ball behind the defender, the back line of the defenders will go back. So that will create space for the striker to come or somebody in the midfield to come in between the pockets. So that's really important. Especially now because it, the game gets real, real hard. 